Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh kepada kelas 5F untuk week yang ke-9. So hari ni kita akan meneruskan presentation untuk kumpulan yang kedua. Betul kan? Betul, Madam. Betul, Madam. Betul, Madam. So today kumpulan ni dah bagi Madam uh, apa? Link. So kejap Madam akan share. Alright. Oh belum, belum, belum. Kejap. Okay, kejap. Oh, kemain eh. Okay, so kita akan Okay, Madam akan mute sebab nanti akan mengganggu Pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa menyumbangkan sejumlah wang tunai kepada 11 keluarga di flat kampung Sirih Kota Baru yang terkesan selepas kediaman mereka rosak susulan letupan sebuah kereta pada Jumaat lalu. Pengurusinya Nur Nilofa, Muhammad Nur berkata dia mendapat berita yang mengejutkan itu melalui kumpulan WhatsApp keluarga yang secara kebetulan yang tragedi itu berlaku berhampiran dengan rumah saudaranya. Katanya berdasarkan gambar dan video yang diterima, ia jelas menunjukkan keadaan yang berlaku agak teruk dan dalam masa yang sama, dia turut menghubungi imam masjid untuk mendapatkan maklumat lebih lanjut mengenai kerosakan yang berlaku. Terdahulu pegawai tugas-tugas khas Pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa di Kota Baru, Nizala Ninawi menyampaikan sumbangan kepada 11 keluarga di flat kampung Sirih yang terkesan akibat letupan berkenaan. Sementara itu, penerima Norihan Ardiatular, 42 tahun, berkata selepas insiden letupan yang berlaku pada Jumaat lalu, Pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa adalah NG O pertama tampil membantu menghulurkan sumbangan. successful program that has been established by this Pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa. It is on Idil Adha this year, which is on program Kurban Kasih Nilofa that they able to distribute more than 20,000 kg of flesh around Malaysia with the support from other 20 corporations that being a part of this project 
to ensure SDG 1 will be fulfilled. Next, this organization also contribute a program in doing donation to the ASNAF, which is a party the eligible to receive a zakat aid collected from Muslims. This organization has created a platform on their website which given name in fact that could facilitate the communities in giving donation in the easy and simple way that could benefit to all communities. This donation program could be contribute in development of SDG 4 by establish this kind of infarct program that could make sure there's no poverty in our country. Lastly, the program that has been initiated by this organization is on SDG 3 which is spread some knowledge to the communities around Malaysia. For example, the program is Kembara Kasih Nilofa that was being held in Bacok, Kelantan on 12 November as their objective to sharing knowledge and training to those in needs, especially to the young generation which is teenagers on how to handle their life in a good way and how they can value their life by involved in community activities. The first benefits is very related the first sustainable development goals which is no poverty. The benefits is able to help ease the burden of the government in helping the poor. With existence of PKN as an NGO, it can also help the government in contributing and helping the poor. For example, PKN has collaborated in helping us now with the Kasi Prihati program MAWIP in helping 5,820 asnaf by donating the Bako Kasi Prihatin Maib around Kuala Lumpur, while PKN has provided a food bank to the management of Surah Al Shakirin to help the asnaf. It aims to reduce poverty among Malaysians. The second benefit is related to second SDGs, which is zero hunger. The benefit is it can reducing the rate of hunger among the people, especially during COVID-19. Since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the whole world, including Malaysia, many people have been affected in terms of obtaining food sources, especially for the poor. Recently, Pertubuhan Kasini Lofa distributed donation in the form of food as well as basic daily necessities to 110 families during the movement cultural order period. In relation to the development stability, PKN can reduce hunger among the people who do not have enough food due to the COVID-19 pandemic. For the last benefit is related to first SDGs, which is quality education. The benefit is it can provide opportunities for underprivileged children to continue learning. Recently, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all students had to undergo learning session from home. PKN has already helped students from indigenous families by donating 3,515 primary school textbooks at the Kerinci PPR. In this regard, the objectives of this program is in line with the Sustainable Development Goals to provide equal education to all students. In Malaysia, with a program like this when the world is hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, it can provide an opportunity for students who can afford to learn. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, we will continue with the uh, suggestion to improve the program in Pertubahan Kasih Nova PKN. For the first program, which is Korban Kasih Adil Adha, Adil Adha. Uh, our, our group had suggest PKN to collaborate with bigger and more influential NGO NGO inside and outside our country to gain more fund in order to help more people in need which can help to eradicate zero hunger in our country. For the second suggestion, we suggest to provide a lower price animal or korban like cow, goat and so on so that people can afford it and end up indirectly more people can do korban which are an ibadah for Muslim like us. Next, 
the uh, second program which is in fact in PKN. The first suggestion is to promote this program wider in order to gain more donation for the from the people. PKN can make advertisement in social media, radio and many more platforms so people can know about this program and join it. Uh, for the second suggestion, we have suggest to PKN to invite famous people, famous or popular people like actor, gamer, and social media influencer as an ambassador for this program in order to attract more people to join in to join it in the future. Last but not least, the third program, which is Kembara Kasih Nilofa, which is one of the main program in PKN, our, suggest, our team has suggest to make the program longer for a few days so that people that participate in it can enjoy it more. Next, and the second suggestion, which PKN can collaborate with other public and private institutions to make the program more efficient and bigger so that many more can enjoy the benefit of this program and can overcome their problem and live a happy life. That's all from me. Thank you. To sum up, Pertubahan Kasih Nilofa is a well-known organization that works in ensuring the sustainability development to make Malaysia be a better country in the future. Moreover, PKN has come up with various initiatives and programs efficiently to reach sustainability development goals which are no poverty, zero hunger, and quality education. Then, everyone can get the latest update of their activity and program through PKN official website, Instagram, and Facebook. Dear my friends, if you are interested to make charity through Pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa, you can refer the account number of PKN that I attach. Remember, arms will not make you poor. Thank you. Alright. Okay, semua dah dengar ke? Dengar media. Tak simpan duit dalam fix deposit eh. kerana dia bersiku rendah. Okay, sekejap Madam nak buat evaluation sambil komen-komen manja gitu. Alright, nampak tak? Eh? Okay, kamu dah isi belum? Uh, group 1 World Resources. Ini kejap Madam tengok. Life below water. Okay, ni masih kosong. Yang ni? Eh, ada pun. Oh, ni ada dah. Uh, tak masukkan lagi ke nama group one ni? Group one resources ni? Hmm, tak ada kat lagi ni. Kena masukkan nama eh. Nanti mana tak tahu. So please masukkan nama Ni eh, grup yang kedua ke hari ni? Ya yeah, madam ah, Apa tu puan Boleh tak sebelum ni ah, patutkan letak nama dululah Supaya madam kenal siapa Okay Ini cuba guna drive Oh no Okay. So boleh tak group yang World Resource Institute tu edit nama? Yang ni pun kena edit lah. Okay, Madam. Right. Eh, yang ni dah. Kenapa pula Madam tu? Mana ni patutnya kan? Oh, tu lah sebab. Where resource is 
Okay, tulis, uh, betul, betul banget kasih nombor nanti kamu tulis ni ya. Okay, so ni written report. Ni presentation. So tulis nama untuk kedua-dua. Eh, ni dah ada. Tengah medium. Lah, tengah medium tak. Pusilah ni. Best December 2021. Alright, kita akan tengok segi presentation skill Okay, so bagi Madam Dari segi uh, presentation, Madam tengok banyak bercakap lah grup ni Macam, macam bukan bercakap, membaca Baca je, soalan ada membaca And then in terms of grammar, macam mana tak disebutan tu And then Madam tengok ada Boleh kena baik, boleh baiki lagi sebutan tu And then Madam tengok NGO, NGO Macam mana kalau NGO kalau dua mana boleh kata ganda gitu kalau dekat dalam ni NGOs N G O huruf besar S kecil Okay So untuk presentation medium akan bagi sebanyak tiga markah So untuk content okay Okay So illustration dia okay Bila tengok uh, point dia pun okay So yang ni okay lah Okay ni medium boleh lah bagi enam Okay, personal appearance pun okay. Tengok pemakaian presenter pun okay. Alright, teamwork pun okay tu sebab Madam nampak macam halah tak dia tak ada siap video yang uh, elok tu kan. And then creativity. Creativity pun okay. Creativity pun okay. So, dia bagi dengan nampak lah. Cuma pula in terms of presentation tu banyak kena baiki. Jangan bercakap saja, okay? Cakap biar natural, jangan ber, macam macam baca je. Biar natural and then biar natural tu orang kata barulah uh, nampak. So macam mana nak okay uh, present macam natural? Yes, practice. Bukan sekadar baca je. Kamu akan memahami, memahami, kamu faham point then baru kamu boleh present. So bapa enam, enam dapat dua empat dua puluh enam. Tapi bolehlah dua puluh tujuh ni dia boleh. Alright So semua kena baiki lagi presentation kamu tu Alright so jangan lupa buat uh, Ni isikan nama termasuklah grup-grup lain So maknanya Madam tinggalkan dalam drive ni Supaya kamu boleh siap-siap letak nama, nombor student ID, grup berapa And then goal nombor berapa ni tak apa Ni tukar kepada NGO NGO apa Alright, boleh ke? So yang ni buatlah pertubuhan Kasih Nilofa Yang tu buatlah Alright, boleh ke? Boleh, boleh Alright, so boleh. Habis satu presentation yang ni semua ni ha, Ni semua medium nak suruh kamu ni lah Apa ni? Environmental Letak nama grup berapa And then apa nama NGO yang kamu pilih tu Alright So okay Okay macam mana dengan Kamu dah belajar sampai chapter berapa dah kelas Dah belajar sampai chapter berapa dah Enam Adam Baru habis chapter enam Okay enam So quizzes dah buat ke belum ah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Satu dua tiga empat lima 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 orang Pelajar 28 orang, mana 10 orang lagi? Ha, media akan cari eh, kalau tak buat Chapter 4 ha, Yang ni ramai nampak 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 Tak cukup juga 
Okey, jangan sampai Madam check lah. Uh, check ke 3, cukup ke? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 21. Mesti ada tak cukup, dua orang tak cukup. Okey, kita nak check the one. Satu kelas ada berapa orang? Satu kelas ada berapa orang? 29 Madam Ah, chapter 1 je cukup uh, Chapter 29 Yang lain <coughs> siapa tak cukup So ini dah tanggungjawab kamu Untuk memastikan semua ni cukup 29 So boleh ke Madam habiskan kelas Kamu settlekan sampai chapter yang kamu habis Boleh ke? Minggu depan Madam check Madam nak semua okey lah Boleh? Sampai chapter 6 boleh minta. Oh, boleh minta. 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 Boleh Siapa berapa grup lagi yang tak present? Berapa grup lagi yang tak present? Empat. Empat. So kita minggu ke-11, sepuluh, sepuluh. Tak boleh lah kena present juga. Sebab nanti tak done. Okey okay ke? Boleh. Boleh, uh, jom, jom. Uh, Sebab medium akan buat pada hujung minggu. Test tu, uh, test tu medium akan buat pada hujung minggu sahaja. Maknanya orang kata tidak mengganggu semasa kelas. Sebab medium risau. Uh, takut kalau kita lambat-lambat kan jadi tak ni. Tak apa kita buat setengah jam je presentation. Okay? Boleh. Q&A session pun tak ada. Just medium tengok je macam ni. Tapi siapkan tutorial. Okay, tutorial pun mudah je. Quizzes je. Right, boleh ke semua? Boleh, Madam. Boleh ke semua dua minggu depan. Okay? Okay semua, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam, Madam. Waalaikumsalam, Madam. Bye. Thank you, Madam. Alright.